Hey, just hanging with the boys here. <laughs> How you all doing? I'm Matt. Welcome to my channel. Hey, Doug, I'm in the mood for another chit chat. I'm sorry. Uh, stuff I've been listening to a lot lately and I uh, figured I'd get into it a little bit with you. I've always got these guys on the uh, turntable. Ooh, the Ventures. And this is one of my favorite Ventures albums, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, the Ventures in Space could be considered probably the first concept album ever. Think about it. Check out the Ventures in Space and tell me what you think, but I love this album. It's probably my favorite Ventures album, and um, yeah, it, it's in the rotation all the time. I love it. But I have like almost everything by the Ventures, as many of you know, so um, check out some Ventures. Uh, I've been listening to this a lot lately. I don't know why. Every once in a while I get in the mood for Dusty or Peggy Lee or uh, uh, what's her name there? Brenda Lee. <laughs> you know, all those Lees. <laughs> anyway, Petula has been on my rotation lately. I've just been getting into her stuff. And this is one I can just throw on. It's just her greatest hits. It's not like a vintage or anything, but it goes back several decades. But, you know, Downtown, Sign of the Times, Call Me, Color My World, Hello Dolly, This Is My Song. And one of my favorite Petula Clock songs of all time, I Know a Place. Just great stuff. Oh, and My Love. I love My Love as well. But, uh, yeah, great album. If you've never gotten into Petula Clark, folks, check her out. Just a great, great artist. Oh, a twofer here for you. I've been listening to these two albums a lot lately. You know who they are? Kind of mysterious looking, but yeah, Credence. Credence Clearwater Revival. I got Green River and Bayou Country here. I have just about every Credence album on vinyl, but um, these two are just classics. You've got to check them out. This band, you know, after I was so in love with the Beatles back in the 60s and 70s when I was a little kid, this band, along with the Kinks, Raspberries, Badfinger, <laughs> but this was one of the early bands for me, Matt, the Birds. Man, when I was uh, in middle school, coming into high school, I dug the Birds. Still do, love them. I've uh, met Roger McGuinn, I've met Chris Hillman, um, have both their autographs. And um, what else? Oh, saw McGuinn Clark and Hillman way back in the late 70s when they got together for a couple of albums, saw them live. And I just love the Birds. And this is one of my favorite Birds albums among many, but turn, 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 check it out. Again, folks, I know many of these things, a lot of you already love and have them already, but um, for those of you that don't, you know, this helps you too. Maybe it'll give you some ideas or spark your interest to maybe give them a listen tonight or tomorrow or something. So uh, hoping, that's, uh, hoping that's why you'll enjoy these videos with me. I'm going to be calling them Matt's Chit Chat or Chit Chat Matt or something. Just us chatting, just hanging out together, having a, I don't have a drink with me, but uh, having a drink together <laughs> next time. Uh, you know, maybe a little toast or a little, uh, some munchies or something, you know, hanging out. So that's it. Love the Dave Clark Five. And this is the most recent one I've been getting into and listening to. It's called Five by Five. Not one of their more popular or well-known albums, you know, like all the big hits aren't really on this one, but it has 19 Days on it, which is a really great song. I love 19 Days. That's on here. And there's a few other great ones, but I just been listening to them lately, and this is the most recent. Check out the Dave Clark Five if you haven't yet. I, I like that 60s kind of obscure garage rock kind of stuff. You know, bands that might have had a couple of few hits, but you know, didn't get as big as obviously like you know the Beatles, the Stones, or some of those bands. And one of them is here, uh, and, he, and I know Wayne Fontana recently passed away. But the Mindbenders, and this one happens to be Wayne Fontana in the Mindbenders. And this has obviously the big hit on it, Game of Love. Okay. I've been listening to this a lot lately. I think after he passed, I grabbed this one. But I also love this one, folks. Just the Mindbenders. This has a groovy kind of love on it after Wayne had left the band. And I, I tell you, I, lo I love this one as, just as much. And a groovy kind of love is... Yeah, it's played out a lot on oldies radio, but it's still one of my favorite songs in the 60s, so 
Check out some Wayne Fontana and the Mindbenders, or just the Mindbenders when you get a chance. Love this band. And if I'm correct on this, you can correct me if I'm wrong, I think they're local to me. I think they were from the Boston, Greater Boston, New England area, but the Standells, um, you know the big song by them, Dirty Water. Love that Dirty Water, kind of a kind of the unofficial song of the Boston Red Sox, you know, whatever. But this one is a good album too. It has Sometimes Good Guys Don't Wear White. And it's a great, that's a great song, folks. So if you know of Dirty Water, check out some of their other songs and especially check out Sometimes Good Guys Don't Wear White. Great, great song, folks. Standells, great 60s rock and roll, garage rock. Love these guys too, the Tremolos. I've been listening to this album a lot lately. Love Here Comes My Baby. That's gotta be one of the best 60s pop songs anywhere, anytime. I love it. Here Comes My Baby. Do you know of that song? Check it out. Check out the album too. Check out the Tremolos. They also did Silence is Golden, which is a great, great ballad. But I love Here Comes My Baby, one of my favorites. Been getting into these guys lately, and here's two I've been listening to a lot for whatever reason. You know, there's so many I love, but Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, and Jones, obviously limited. I, I love this album, one of my favorite Monkeys albums ever, right here. I mean, if you don't know of this one, check it out. It's it's un unbelievably great. And this just is kind of a little obscure one called Selections from the Headquarters Sessions. There was a big box set or something released a couple of years ago. Uh, of all the headquarters sessions and they just took some select tracks from those from that bigger box set and put them on this single disc so it's a it's a cool little listen and a lot of fun so I've been getting into that lately and as the 60s music plays in the background actually it's the soundtrack to that thing you do one of my favorite movies and favorite soundtracks of all time have you checked that out that's another one I highly recommend that thing you do the soundtrack and who knows, maybe we can do the Freddy to it, you know, what's the, do the Freddy? I don't know. <laughs> or maybe I'm, that's not right. No, I, no the Freddy's different. He, he had all kinds of dances, this guy here, you know, Freddy, Gary. Yeah, there he is, doing the Freddy. Do the Freddy. Freddy and the Dreamers. Yeah, every once in a while, folks, you know, come down here and get a little adult drink. Put the lights down a little bit, put on... Freddy and the Dreamers, and I do the Freddy in the dark. Just kidding. I hope you know I'm just kidding. But anyway, I love this album. Oh, this is one to kick back, relax, and just get into. B.B. King, Live at the Regal. This is a reprint, repressing. It's on opaque blue vinyl. It's on blue vinyl. I've showed you this before, but, man, I was listening to this this week, and ooh, I... <laughs> There's so many blues. I, I could do a whole chit chat on blues someday, and maybe we will. But this is one I happen to be listening to recently. It's obviously a classic. I have a ton of different blues artists I love. I love all the kings BB King, Freddie King, Albert King, and I go on and on and on down the line of all the different blues guys I love. But uh, this is just a classic. You know, this is like having. Sergeant Pepper, you have to have it, you know, if you're a fan of great rock and roll or music, and if you're a fan of blues, you have to have this, you know. Always love these guys, Paul Revere and the Raiders. I've showed you their stuff before in my videos, you know how much I love them. And I had this one on, this is called Midnight Ride with Paul Revere and the Raiders. And the big song on here is Kicks. Kicks is on here, it's just a great, great little album. You know, check it, give them a listen sometime when you get a chance. I'm working on her collection because I'm really getting into Nancy lately. I've always been a fan of Nancy Sinatra. I have some of her stuff on CD, but I'm starting to collect her vinyl and she's got some good ones out there. This is obviously one of the most famous ones. This is called Boots, Nancy Sinatra. Obviously these boots are made for walking, but she does a cool version of Day Tripper on here, which I really love. And uh, there's some, oh, Run For Your Life. She does a cool cover of Run For Your Life which I also love, very great. Check it out when you get a chance. This is a great album, folks. And as I said, these boots are made for walking, but check out the two Beatle covers. They're really cool, Day Tripper and uh, Run For Your Life. Really worth the price of admission, in my opinion. So I'm working on my Nancy collection. 
And uh, how many people have heard of this band, Orpheus? They were out in the late 60s into the early 70s, but they're big, big, they were kind of a one-hit wonder, but what a hit, folks. What a song. Can't find the time to tell you. Who knows of that song? Okay, Orpheus. Folks, if you don't, you'll put it on and most of you will go, oh yeah, I know that song. If you don't know that song, you'll love it when you hear it. It's just one of the greatest, slow, cool listening, 60s songs, Can't Find the Time to Tell You by Orpheus. I'm listening to their album lately. A very good little album, too. Uh, this isn't an original classic or a vintage or anything, but I have been getting into the best of the Bobby Fuller 4 Golden Archive series. I love Bobby Fuller, and I love the Bobby Fuller 4, and this is just a great little collection. Just put on, have some fun, you know, jump around a little bit, you know. Throw things around in your room when you listen to Bobby Fuller. <laughs> so, and that's it, folks. That's some cool stuff. Wait a minute. You're probably saying, Matt, but what, there's been nothing Beatles-related. You're wearing a kind of a Beatles-related shirt. you got some Beatle guys around you here. What have you been listening to with Beatles lately, folks? Believe it or not, I've been heavily getting into this guy right here. I've been heavily, 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 heavily into this man right here. Been John all the time lately for me. I'm so excited that his birthday is coming up. This one especially, I'll put this one in the front. I've been listening to a lot of Lennon. A lot of it. his birthday's coming up. We're gonna celebrate the anniversary of his 80th, what would have been his 80th birthday. The John Lennon, Give Me Some Truth sets coming out, which I know gets some thumbs up and it's been getting some thumbs down. Is it redundant? Is it repetitive? I know all that stuff, folks. But you know what? I'm trying to look at it in a positive light. It's remixed. It's John's 80th birthday. We're getting something. And I'm also, as you know, I'm very excited about the brand new Gem Records celebrates John Lennon, which is coming out on John's birthday as well. And that's going to be a scorcher, folks. It's going to be great. I've heard more clips of it. And whew, great, great stuff on Gem Records celebrates John Lennon. It's available now out there for pre-order along with the Lennon Give Me Some Truth set. So I've been getting into John lately. I'm anticipating his birthday coming up in a month and I'm getting excited about, uh, you know, getting back into some John. I've gotten away from it for a while and uh, I want to get back into it again. That's it, folks. Chit Chat with Matt or Matt's Chit Chat. I don't know what I'm going to call this thing yet, but I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you all soon with some more videos. I got some more stuff I want to show you. Just want to hang out with you. I want to do a little more of this where it's not so much a formal thing, but just talking music a little bit, showing you some stuff I've been listening to lately, have a little bit of fun. You know, if you want to break out the Frangelico or Crown Royal or Chivas <laughs> while you're watching my videos. If not, if you're not into that, you know, break out the Coke Zero or the Mountain Dew or you can... Uh, I don't know, break out one of those weird Riddler sodas that Doc Docus likes to show in his videos. You know, the ones that you can't identify what the item is. <laughs> Get one of those and have a, have a taste, okay? <laughs> Thanks to all of you. Uh, really appreciate you being here. Bless you all. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.